Ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome back to the stage, Mr. Mike Hodges. Hysterical thing is that when United Artists said that they would do it, they really didn't want Mickey Rooney. He was just not, you know, he wasn't a star at the time. And they resisted this. And there was one magical moment when the phone rang and it was the, the guy, their representative in the UK, and said, Mike, we don't want Mickey Rooney, but I've got a great idea. So I said, what is it? And he said, are you sitting down? So I said, he said, I said, who is it? He said, what about Victor Mature? <laughs> well, I don't know how many of you remember Victor Mature, but he's about six foot two. And I said, have you, have you read the script? <laughs> and uh, he said, oh gosh, yes, of course. Okay, fine. So I, but I did have a fight to get, uh, uh, I, to get Mickey Rooney, who was just amazing, I must say. But he and I never talked about the script ever. It was absolutely extraordinary. He arrived on the island and he just, he came on, he knew all his lines, we never discussed the role, and he produced, he gave me this absolute monster. I mean, I daren't have written anything quite as grotesque as he gave me. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, would you please put your hands together and join me in thanking a very, very special guest indeed, Mr. Mike Hodges. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Horace Ovey. Firstly, thank you for joining us here today. Thank you for coming and seeing the film. <laughs> I'd like to just ask you a little bit about how this film first came into being. Well, it came into being because of the experience that I had, social and political experience I had long before it. And I also do photography and I photograph a lot of incidents that took place that I saw and experienced with different clashes with the police and the fights in the street. So then we decided to make a film. Was it a, a hard film to get made? It was a very hard film to get made. Nobody wanted to, 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 to make it and we had very little money to make it. But eventually I got a lot of filmmakers and who were involved and that was both white and black and a lot of good filmmakers and because it was filmmakers I know in the 60s who had you know who was against what was happening around them they came and said look we'll help you we'll give you two weeks you know, after that, Horace, we're gone. And this is, what, this is how we managed to make the film. I believe the release of the film wasn't straightforward either, is that? No, it wasn't straightforward. It was, um, it was actually banned and, uh, and, 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 and not, a lot of people in the public wanted to ban it and the police wanted to ban it and so on. Then, but a few critics who saw it were writing in the papers demanded that this film should be shown and that is how it came out. They were right. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in thanking Mr. Horace Ovey. Thank you for coming. Thank you, Horace. Thank you. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm absolutely delighted to inform you that we are privileged enough to be joined here today by Mr. Ken Russell and his wife, Lisey Tribble. No, it's, um, it's about the creative process. It's a true story, a character called Gaudier Breschka, who was a sculptor living um, just before the Great War. He had a relationship with um, a Polish woman. It was a loving relationship, but a very true one, very positive. And um, it's a true story, and it's a tragic story. Yes, um, he had a, um, a show at the uh, Tate Britain, and uh, that's when I, I saw um, the majority of his work. And, and some of the performances were beautiful, and you know what happened to Scott Anthony? They Disappeared. Yeah. If you find out, let us know. <laughs> yeah, yeah he, um, no, he, he vanished off the face of the earth, and um, the lady died, of course. Um, sorry to hear that. And uh, I would just like to say a big thank you to uh, Christopher Logue, who wrote the script, which I think is, you know, a um, masterpiece. So, thank you. Oh, and uh, everyone else was, was um, Derek Jarman, who, of course, he was the, um, he, he, he did the um, sets. And uh, I, I think the, the rest speaks for itself, so. Thanks once again, and I'm glad you came to see it. Goodbye.